Hey, my name's Nick. I'm with Sunshine State RVs in Gainesville, Florida. We are the number one Class B dealer in the state of Florida and number three in the whole United States of America. I know it's crazy. There's these huge dealerships and we're in the middle of Gainesville and we sell more Class Bs than anybody. You may be asking yourself, why and how do they do that? It's because we love them. We are Class B experts. We love everything about the lifestyle, the community, the vans, everything about it. So today, very excited. I mean, we we have I've been seeing Winnebago Revels from a distance for the last three or four years since they came out. And Winnebago asked us to start carrying them, and it was an honor for us. Winnebago Revel kind of set the trend on the 144 Sprinter chassis 4x4 off-road coaches. And I'm doing my first video on one. I, I'm excited to show you the outside. I'm excited to show you the inside. But this is a brand spanking new 2022 Winnebago Revel 4x4 on a 144 chassis. This one is sharp looking. You can even see it behind me. The thing looks like a beast. I mean, it looks huge, right? But it's not. It's 19 feet long. It's just as jacked up, off-road ready, all of that. So Winnebago Revel was the trendsetter. They were the, the they were like the iPhone of cell phones for the 144 chassis of 4x4s. Like they they set the mark and everybody is following them. So Winnebago's done a great job with, with their vans. They've done a great job with the off-road. They've done a great job with their Class Bs. They are the top seller of all Class Bs in the country. So Winnebago's done a great job. I'm proud to carry them. I'm proud to tell you guys about them. In the video, we're gonna go through the outside. We're gonna go through the inside. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna climb in the bed, get in the bathroom. I'm gonna show you everything about this Winnebago Revel. So I can't wait to get started. All right, so now that we're standing here, you can really see how cool this color is. It's like a pebble gray, really, really neat, unique color. There's no, there's no other Class B van that has this color on. I really like it. And I think it goes great with the uh, all-terrain tires, the black rims, the plastic cladding. I mean, it is just, I mean, it looks like a G.I. Joe. When I was a kid, I used to play with G.I. Joes. It looks like a G.I. Joe mobile or something, something that you would throw a bunch of G.I. Joes in and go and go all that in the back and kind of jump on it. I mean, just. This is just absolutely awesome. So it is a four by four, like I mentioned, it is the Mercedes Sprinter, 19 foot, six inch RV. So smallest RV that Mercedes makes. It is a four by four, which is great. Nice big all-terrain tires. Um, something I mention all the time about any Class B are the windows. The windows really make it feel open and give you space inside. And something I love about Winnebago is that they give you these dual pane acrylic windows. And this is an awning style window, so it's it doesn't just slide that far and you can barely reach your hand through it. This is a big stinking window, right? I mean, this is big, right into the kitchen galley area there. So if someone's making you a drink, they can hand it to you here. Door doesn't have to be open. You can keep the AC in the coach and then you can hand food, anything you want. There is a screen here and the screen does come down to protect the rest of the area as well. But nice big awning style window. You can open it, you can close it. But if you want, there is also a screen here. So this is a full screen that does this. And then pretty cool as well, this is your nightshade. So the nightshade gives you privacy. And then when that's down, you do have full access to it. So very neat about Winnebago, the Travados have it as well and i'm a big fan of the awning style windows something else i like and you don't really think about it much when you're looking for rvs is a nice big uh step into the rv winnebago brands everything with their w's so uh there's a bunch of little w's on it it's kind of like where's waldo find all the w's you know but there's w's here the w there w everywhere <laughs> they they put them everywhere um but nice big step and this is neat you know somebody asked me about this this is a reverse light i think and this is your daylight so when it's nighttime and you're in the baja of uh going to lake powell in the middle of utah or going somewhere cool there's those lights light up so you can so people can see you so you can see where you're going 
and it, and it does a great job of lighting everything up. So as we kind of walk through here, we'll, we'll, we'll kind of walk around to the back. Um, this is a 19 foot RV, so it, it does have a small footprint. I was in San Francisco the other day and I was, you know, going down the road with my daughter and I saw a 19 foot Sprinter parallel parked on the side of the road. I'm like, this is the coolest thing ever. This is why people use these vans. They can parallel park them anywhere. They can put them in their driveway. They can take them anywhere in the country and, and really get to see everything, not just off road, but also in town as well. So pretty cool. This is a ladder. So this ladder can actually be removed and put anywhere on the coach to access the roof. So the roof has solar panels on it. There is an air conditioner as well. Um, also, you can put a roof rack up there so you can see, you can store stuff. So this ladder gets taken off, you can put it on that side, put it on this side, put it anywhere you wanna put it so that way you can access the roof. Nice, big, beefy uh, tow hitch, can tow about 5,000 pounds. So a lot of people have dirt bikes or four wheelers or motorcycles and they can tow that behind their Revel. So great to pull somewhere, pull up somewhere. You have a trailer with your golf cart in it with a couple dirt bikes and, and you are good to go. There is a garage in here and I'm going to show you that in a minute. Let me finish showing you the outside then I'll walk you back here. This is the garage is the most unique part about this Revel that you're going to love. So as, as we're kind of walking on this side, you're going to notice this, this fiberglass bump out right here. This is pretty neat because it gives you a little more space in the bed. So both sides have it. So it just makes it a little bigger in there. There's another awning style window right here. So that way when you're in bed, you can open the window, get some fresh air while you're sleeping. Um, your 30 amp shore power plug is waist high. I always mention that. Easy to plug in, easy to unplug. There's a light on it when it is plugged in, it's lit up. Okay, so Revel has a cassette toilet. It is a five gallon cassette toilet. There's not a black tank that you pull and dump. Um, this is nice because um, you can use the bathroom in here when you're done, when you feel like it's full, when, before you, whenever you need, you unlock it, you pull it out, you can dig a little hole with your shovel, you can dump your waste and then you can cover it back up. You can go dump it in a dump station, dump it down a, you know anywhere that you're allowed to dump these things. But I've heard of people digging holes, dumping it in the ground, covering up when you're on the road and then you're you're back again. It's not like a uh, gravity fed tank. So that's very convenient. I'm, I'm not a big fan of messing with all that nasty stuff. Gray tank is down there. Gray tank is your sink and your shower. So you would hook your hose up and do that. It's like a 20 or 30 gallon gray tank. I'm sure I'll be corrected with a little blurb to say exactly what it is, but I think it's 20 or 30 gallons. Um, another running board right here with lights on it. Like I said before, Nice, big, solid running board with a bunch of W's. What do you know? Winnebago. Um, another awning style window. So this window does open as well. There's a seat there with a little table. So when you're eating, when you're hanging out, a lot of people work from these things. If you're traveling around the country, this is great to have some fresh air right there. So that is the outside of the coach. Now I'm gonna do something a little different. Uh, what really makes the Revel unique is a garage. So I'm gonna walk into the garage. I'm gonna show you how cool that really is. So the most unique thing about this Revel is the garage, and it's pretty awesome. Check this bad boy out. I mean, this is the garage of all garages in a 19-foot RV. I mean, this thing here, the possibilities are endless of what you can put in here. It doesn't matter if you're a professional photographer, if you're a, a tornado tracker, which I recently sold an RV to, uh, we sold one to an insurance adjuster who only does like catastrophes all over the country. He had to load all his equipment, a mold remediator. He loaded all his equipment. I mean, there's so many different weird things that people do. I had one that's a, a guy's a, a sharpshooter and he goes to competition shooting his big guns. He said they'd all fit perfect in here. So there's so many. And then obviously you have your mountain bikes, your stand up paddle boards, your kayaks, your fishing poles. Um, I, there, there's so many things. It, they give you the space. This is something I was at a national dealers meeting for Winnebago last week. And one of the things they talked about was they know their customers are buying these off-road machines. Their equipment is just as important to them as their RV. So they wanted to make sure that people had spaces and security for their equipment to store it, to lock it down, to latch it down, to make sure it's safe. So they give you six latches here so you can latch down anything you need 
and get as creative as you need with these six latches. Then there's little pockets everywhere. Then there's these ram track things everywhere. Even up there, you can see they give you a net. You can use a ram track up there for anything you want. Then there's a little pouch. But this area right here, you can get as creative as you want putting anything you want back here. So some other cool stuff back here. Right here is a battery on and off switch. You have a light switch right here. It turns the lights on and off when you're in here. You have some USB ports, and then you have a solar um, extender, solar uh, solar expansion is the word I was looking for. You can expand the solar power that's on the roof. So there's already solar on the roof. Um, this will give you more solar here. You can kind of have a whole solar field if you want. You can have as many panels as you want hooked up to this thing. So pretty cool there. All of the Rebels come with two 125 amp hour lithium batteries. They come with a 2000 watt inverter. So that's powerful enough to run everything in your coach. Um, and then they also come with an underhood generator, a second big, beefy, powerful alternator. So you turn your engine on. Well, you don't do this anymore. Now you press a button. You press a button. It's like talking on the phone like this. No one does that. Everyone does like this now. You know? I'm learning these new things. So you turn your engine on. It, it gives you juice so you can run your air conditioner. You can run your micro. You can run everything, all of your components inside the coach by turning your engine on because of the underhood generator or because of these lithium batteries. So I'm gonna show you the lithium batteries in a second. Before I do that, I wanna show you the water. So one thing, uh, I should probably come over here to show you a little better. One thing that's pretty cool is they moved all the water inside. They did this to give you more weather capabilities. So when it's freezing cold outside, all of your water connections are inside your coach. They're not outside anymore like they used to be. So they do this in the Travado, they do this in the Solus, and now they're doing it in the Revel as well. So you got hot water, cold water, you got a little shower jack right here uh, to where you can have an outside shower. Um, you can even rinse things off in here if you need to clean something in the back of here. You have this little quick connect shower thing here that you can do it, so that's pretty neat as well. Actually, check this out. So here is the little shower thing. So you can quick connect it right there and you can use it here. So pretty neat and quick disconnect. So this comes with it and you can use that right there as well. Um, so the lithium batteries, which are pretty cool, they, they kind of use, oh, uh, use up this area. They, they keep them to where you can access them. A lot of places put the lithium batteries underneath the coach or put them somewhere that you can't see them or do anything with them. Winnebago does a good job of putting them here so you can access them, service them, do whatever you need. So I'm gonna jump in here and show you these. So very easily accessible, just pops right off. And you got two lithium batteries here. These are Xantrax lithium batteries, 125 amp hours each. And if you notice this black thing on here, this is a heating blanket. So there's a button right here that you press and it heats your batteries up. Anything under about 35 degrees, you're gonna to wanna to turn your battery heaters on because you're gonna want your batteries to, to, to be warm. And here's also your inverter. You can service that if you need. The rest of your BMS. I like how everything is very accessible, very accessible. You know, someone asked me the other day if we can um, uh, make this lithium system bigger. Yeah, why not? You can make a little tray right here. You can put two or three more lithium batteries right here on the floor. It takes into your garage storage a little bit, but you know, depends what's important to you. You know, if you want more lithium and that's important, then then that's what you need to do. If you if you're happy with what's there, see how easy that was. If you're happy with what's there, you leave it. If you want to add it, you can add it. So there are some 110 plugs here. There's storage here. Um, some really really cool stuff here. See, it's about six feet across. A little more, about six three, six four. So plenty of space here. Um, there's some more plugs here, different switches everywhere, but something really cool above my head is the bed. And so I'm gonna show you how this bed deal works. It's very, very easy. There's a button right here and we press it. And four seconds later, your bed is fully made. People love the fact that you can keep the bed made up all the time. You can put uh, pillows over here. You can put your comforter on it. Um, very comfortable. I'm six foot tall, about 236 pounds this morning. Not about exactly. And I can fit on this bed. And somebody else can fit next to me very comfortably. Lots of space. But you know, something else that's pretty cool is you can even like put your legs out. You can hang out here. 
you can enjoy God's creation. You can, you know, see what's going on. There's lots of cool things with with this bed. I mean, I'm I'm a heavy dude. I hope this thing doesn't break, but I'm a heavy dude. It ain't going nowhere. So so very very trusting right now. So you have straps here. You also have a chain right there, and there's straps everywhere. So lots of uh, lots of safety in it, but very neat. So you got your bed here. Plenty of space. It's about six foot two, six foot three across. Room, room for two people to sleep here, which is nice. And if you notice, you can still store a lot of stuff there, even with your bed down. And you don't have to lower it this much. You can raise it a little bit if you want to sleep here because you have bigger things underneath. You can, you can leave the bed anywhere you want. So this is actually very comfortable. Um, I'm going to put the privacy shade down. I'm going to take a little nap and then I'm going to show you the rest of the RV. Check that out. So before we jump in this Revel, part of why you buy one of these things isn't to spend a lot of time inside the coach. They really do a great job of helping you spend time outside. So like I said a minute ago, there's a power awning with nice lights. There's also this really cool tabletop here. So there is a tabletop here. If you are cooking, eating, making sandwiches, you know, serving your, your friends around the fire, whatever you're doing, there's a nice tabletop right here. And they even do a great job of putting a, a plug right here. So if you are, if you do have like an Instapot or a coffee maker, let's say you wanna plug in your, your Keurig, you plug it in, or your, your coffee maker, you can put it right here. You, you can put your Instapot here. You can put a, a griddle. I like frying eggs and bacon on a big griddle right here. So, so that's what I would do. I'd put the griddle here, I'd plug it in, and I'd cook outside. I would do all, everything outside. I don't, I don't see myself spending a lot of time in an RV, but a lot of people, you know, in this new, in this new remote, working area people work from wherever they're at so there is like a nice desk and all that in there but something else that they've done pretty cool here is they made the fridge accessible from outside as well so so this thing opens up fully oh it's cold oh it's pretty cool so you can have drinks here you can have your food you have a freezer there you can fit you know i look like four or five little ben and jerry's now they're making the real little ones so you don't feel so guilty eating them they're real little so you can fit a few of those in there but you got your nice fridge here that's accessible from the outside as well you have a plug here so you can put stuff up there you have a plug there so you can use stuff there as well so nice big and working area so it encourages you to kind of be outside the rv but you still have access to inside so now follow me inside the rv so as we're in here, you can see how wide open this is. There is a screen. This screen does fold down and it does give you privacy. It does protect you from the bugs. But if you don't want that, you have a lot of wide, like right now there's a nice breeze. This is one of the six beautiful days in Florida a year that we get where you have a breeze, some sun, some shade, but nice big countertop. You know, something that, that uh, Winnebago does is they give you an induction stove. So. So they include the induction. Some people pull the induction out and they use it right there. Some people just toss it and they don't use it at all. So totally depends on your preference, but that is included in this drawer right here. So totally depends on how you wanna do it. So you have a sink here with hot and cold water, lots of nice countertop. There is an extension as well. I forgot about this. So this little extension kind of goes right here and it kind of latches in. So it gives you a little extra cooking space or countertop preparation, whatever it is you're doing right here. You know, I like margaritas. So I put a little blender, blend some margaritas up, whatever it is. So lots of, lots of options of what you can do. And then you just take it right out and then just put it right back in a little storage compartment. So very easy and very simple there. So two seats right here. They both have seat belts. You have the two Mercedes seats there. So the Mercedes seats, they both swivel. Um, they face the front, obviously, for you to drive. But if you want to have a little dinette here, this table here moves. It, you can put it away. You don't have to have it. If you want it out, you can have it out. But lots of options to have four people eating here, four people hanging out. But there are two really nice seat belts right here for you to use too. So there again, you're going to be spending a lot of time outside. Oh, look at this. Where's Waldo? See, they put these W's everywhere. You can hang a hat from it, a coat. But you're going to spend a lot of time outside. So everything is kind of consolidated to this little area right here. So all of your controls, you know, this is the little bed thing that, that I was messing with earlier. All of your lithium controls, your Xantrax, your solar, your hot water heater, your furnace, everything is right here. So you control all of that there. What's nice is they don't take up a storage cabinet with that. So all of your cabinets have 
true storage. This one has a plug in it with USB ports as well. Um, there is, oh, this is nice, first time seeing this. There's a roof access port. So if you wanted to put some kind of Wi-Fi um, extender or some kind of hotspot on your roof, put, put the antenna, you can run it right through here. You can store it in here if you want satellite TV, um, if you want a ham radio, a lot of people are doing those now. You can do all types of stuff through this roof access port without drilling any new holes. So that's really nice too. Earlier I was talking about these awning style windows. So here is another one of them. So full awning style window, you get the cross ventilation that comes through the RV here. So that's really nice. Um, like I said, everything's consolidated, but there is lots of stores of, so this is the bathroom, very unique. Um, I, I can't say that I've seen this before and I love it. These wooden shelves are here. So there's a shelf here and a shelf here. If you don't like the shelf, you just pick them up and just get rid of them. You don't have to have them. You can just move them. You can adjust them. You can do whatever you want, but there is a toilet under there and the toilet goes to that cassette toilet that's on the outside. Um, and there's also a shower. So you have a hot and cold water shower here. So you can get in there um, and you can shower. And there is a, a, a rod here to hang up so you can hang up clothes. There is a um, poop van, exhaust van. I don't know what you call it. There's a fan in here to give you some fresh air inside the shower. So nice area here. I'm a big dude. I would definitely fit in there. I was in there a minute ago. Um, everything kind of fits. There's a little area for toilet paper there and a little area for your shampoo. So Winnebago does a great job of giving you what you need. So this is, this is, uh, this is an RV of necessities on the inside. The places that it can take you are places you can never imagine seeing without being in something like this. So, I mean, you can go anywhere off-road, on-road, in the cities, outside the city, the mountains, the desert, anywhere you wanna go in something as cool as this. So this is a Winnebago Revel. This has a full lithium package. We have them at Sunshine Series. This is our first one. Very exciting about it. We ship these for free anywhere in the country. Um, or if you wanna come, we fly in, we put you up in a hotel, we give you a walkthrough, teach you how to use it, put you up at a local campground for two nights, and we make sure that you are fully confident in your new RV before you leave and go off on your first adventure. Then pretty cool, after buying from us, we guarantee you a service appointment within five days. So something no other RV dealership in the country does, we're the only ones that do it, guarantee our customers service appointments within five days. So some of the small perks of buying from Sunshine State RVs, but this is a revel. Um, there's a lot of information in the comments below. This is on our website. This is for sale. It is in stock, ready to rock and roll. So my name is Nick. Feel free to call and ask for me. And thank you very much for watching this video. We do have a lot of other ones as well. Thank you.